Hey everybody, Jebediah420 here, back at you guys with another one of my nerf videos. So, I'm just gonna start from the beginning here. Recently, I uh, started renting a new commercial space, which means I'm gonna be owning a business soon. So today, I was out uh, purchasing some product for the business, and when I was out uh, searching for product, I stumbled upon something really cool, and I had to pick myself up one, and I'm gonna make a video of it. So. Give me two seconds and let me show you what I found. I found a really cool mech unit today. Now, if you're wondering what kind of mech unit, let me show you. That's right everybody, a high velocity Rival rated Nerf mech designed by Newbright. All right, guys, here it is Newbright's 2019 RC Blaster mech unit. This thing is amazing. Okay, so let's break it down. This thing has a 16 ball ammo capacity. It has an 80 feet per second average velocity. It has 1.5 second average firing rate. It comes with a laser sight and it has two camera mounts, one on each side of it for whatever side you prefer, which is very awesome. It also has these sweet, huge ATV tracks so you can bring it out on all terrains. Unlike the 2018 blaster mech unit Newbright came out with. That one was more for indoor battles. Now it shoots a little harder velocity. Um, it has a more battle bot design to it and it has about four more ammo in the capacity unit. But the problem is it has smaller tracks and it's made more for indoors. Now you can look it up online or something um, but other than that I don't own one and I haven't found one so I don't have one in this video. You see I have three boxes in front of me. So I bought these two here for my business. But if you look over here, this box is really damaged. So I got it for a good deal. And I get to keep this one for myself. So if you give me five seconds, I'll set this up in somewhere where we have a good view. We'll rip it out of the box. We'll uh, drive it around and, you know, all the things you want to see. A few moments later. Okay, guys, here it is. This is my blaster mech and it's beat up box that we're gonna rip open right now. Cats wanna help me rip it open, I guess. I'm doing this one hand here. Okay. So here's our blaster. It's already ripped off the plastics. Very nice. Put this off that side. What else? Okay. So we don't got instructions with this one, but we do got a remote and battery and a charger. Throw that away. We'll put this right here. And then set this up here beside it. Right, we'll go plug this in here. And we'll get some action shots of this.
All right, so while the RC Blaster is charging, we're gonna take a moment to recognize the ammo it uses. So New Bright has this knockoff Rival Rounds, which are almost similar to Rival Rounds, but the circumference is a little smaller, as you can see, and the, in, in the bumps on it are not inverted like a golf ball, but they are out and rigid. So we're gonna see how Rival Rounds blast out of this thing how Adventure Force rounds blast out of this thing, and how the uh, New Bright rounds blast out of this thing, and we'll see uh, how all these different types of ammo work. All right, so the battery is charged. Let me show you guys how you put the battery in this thing. So flip it over, and as you can see, there's uh, no battery cover. It kind of just sits in there. You just pop it in like this, and then you flip this little switch, and it keeps it tight. And then you can uh, turn it on, and then you flip her back over, and she's ready to rock. To load, we're going to open up the lid here, pull out the ammo crate. We're gonna put our rounds in. We're gonna start with the uh, we're gonna start with these new bright rounds. Let me just pop it in there like that. Each slot holds two. We got four new bright rounds. Then we got Adventure Force. It's a little bigger. Oh, but once it gets in there, it's in there. Yeah, pops in there nice. Oh my god, what am I ever going to do if these don't shoot? They're just going to be stuck in there forever. They are a little softer, so... Compared to the new bright rounds. So maybe they're going to squeeze in. Here's the last rival round. Okay, so then you look for the front of it. And then you put it in. Like this. Accordingly. Might have to wait a little bit. She's in. You close the lid, make sure she's snug, and she's loaded. So I don't see an on button on the remote. I just popped the batteries in and that little light started flashing. You see that there on Mac, it's just flashing. Not that light, that's the camera, but that light there. All right, well, I guess I'll give it a shot. And this might not work. So all you need to do is put in two fully charged batteries and voila. Let's try the laser pointer. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ready? There it is. Try a shot from it. Right at the laser pointer. Oh, ready? Whoa! You didn't even see that come flying by. There it is. It rolled back. Ah. All right. <clears throat> So here we're going to be testing out different rounds. So up first we'll probably have the, uh... so first we're going to have the Adventure Force round and then maybe another Adventure Force round and a rival round. You know, I'll just tell, I'll call them as I see them at the moment. Uh, it's hard to tell how it shoots. <clears throat> so I got my mech aimed ready and fire. Misfire. Oh.
Okay, so I almost broke my targets. That's crazy. So I realized it wasn't misfiring. I only loaded enough. I didn't load every cartridge, remember? So uh, that's what happened, if you're wondering. But if I load every cartridge, I shouldn't get a misfire. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect handful. This thing is so cool, guys. So cool. Did you see that velocity? That is a sick 80 feet per second. That is, that is definitely rival rated velocity right there. Um, it has really good accuracy. Easy to control. Can't wait to set a camera on there. Those are some good old fashioned camera holsters on there. What's up, kitty? No, I'm just kidding. I can't shoot you at rival. I love you. So cool. I had to try it. <laughs> I really can't wait to put my Sony HDR on that, link it up to my cell phone, and drive that around during Nerf Wars and blast people. It's gonna be really fun. So let's bring this back over to the computer, and we'll conclude this video, and I'll let you guys know if you should buy this product or not. All right, guys, so here we are back at the computer desk to conclude this video. I'm gonna do a little breakdown of this, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion, and we're gonna say goodbye to each other. So starting with the breakdown, this is the Mech Blaster unit from New Bright. Came out 2019. I don't know why, but I'm just figuring out about it now. Okay, so the first thing, it's an all-terrain vehicle. It has these sweet, wide rubber ATV tracks. So you can go anywhere, grass, mud, dirt, bush, indoor, outdoor, whatever you need. I don't suggest bringing it through the water. You know, it is an electrical device with an open battery. Ugh. Other advantages is that it has this wheelie bar at the back that can be adjusted down or up. So 
depending on what terrain you're going through. So if you're going indoors, you might want it down. You got a nice smooth run the whole way. You might want it up when you're outdoors so you don't hit too many bumps and stuff, or flip. It has 16 round capacity, which is plenty enough shots to miss a few times. It can hold cameras. It has built-on camera mounts on each fender, so it has easy access for your GoPro, your Sony HDR, whatever you want to mount on there. So you can actually use this as a real Nerf in RCXD. You can hide behind a building, send it out into the battle, and watch it all from your phone. It has a very sleek design. Whoever designed this blaster is genius. It's gorgeous. I don't know about you guys, but I am in love with it. It has a laser pointed accuracy, and the barrel is adjustable in four different settings. It has one setting, one, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four. You get the point, right? You know, the battery lasts quite a while, and it's compatible with not only new bright rounds, but rival rounds and adventure force rounds too. So, in conclusion, should you buy one? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. Out of uh, 1 to 10? I don't know, probably like 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. This is uh, really awesome. It shoots rival rounds. Nerf hasn't even designed a rival shooting mech blaster yet. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's quite affordable. It's worth about $100 here in Canada. That sounds probably like $70 or $80 out in the U.S. Get yourself one. It's great novelty for the kids. It's great fun for the adults. It's just great for everybody. Other than that, I'm Jebediah420. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you guys around.